All right, time for another video. This one's going to be vault specific. We're going to focus on how can we add files to the vault. So we have two different types of files. I'm going to group them into two categories, right? You have your non-CAD files, your office documents, you know, templates, everything. And then you have your CAD files, so AutoCAD, Inventor, you know, IPTs, IDWs, DWGs, those kind of things. Um, so there's two there's two ways I handle them. So for non-CAD, super simple. Just drag them into the location, right into the vault client, piece of cake. CAD files are a little bit more specific because you have references with those. Even AutoCAD files, you can have your external references. So you have to use the application that they were designed in in order to check them in. All right. Um, if you're going to do a large migration with lots and lots of files, I'd consider using the auto loader. Not going to cover an auto loader today, so just keep it in the back of your mind that it is an option. All right, let's start off with non CAD files. So, on the left hand side, you see that I am logged into my vault. And on the right hand side, I have a couple of documents, some SOPs, and a maintenance guide here. So, I'm going to go ahead and I want these added. So, I'm already navigated to a folder I think there'll be a good spot for. I'll just drag them right in. Upon doing that, it'll ask me um, if I want to keep the files checked out right away, if I want to remove the working copies, put in a comment. I'm just going to go ahead and check them in. I'm going to get this process box. And like that, those files have been added. All right. They're currently in the work in progress state, but that's all controlled by your categories and um, your workflows. So if you want, you can always have those set up to automatically get to release or what have you. Now, when adding CAD files, I'm going to show using Inventor. Um, I have right now, you can see that I am using my Inventor project file, my vault project file, and I am already logged into the vault. With those things done, I will mention it is best practice to have the files already located in your working folder where you're going to want to check them in. I have found it works best with the references to do that sort of thing. I'm going to go ahead and open up the assembly that is using those files. Just as it's opening up, this assembly is using the holder pin and pulley. We're going to go ahead and update the assembly, sure. Okay, we have something that I kind of just made off the cuff. We can go to that vault tab. You should see a gray circle with a plus symbol that says uh, it's not checked in. It's not in the vault. So we can go ahead and do a right click, check in. It must be saved. Sure. Go ahead and hit save on it. Now it'll give you the same options we had earlier. I'll go ahead and put something for the comment. Now, like that, if I were to minimize this, we can go to the CAD files. And there they are. Those files are now located. With that, that concludes my video. So, uh, hopefully, you find it helpful. If you have questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to our technical support team here at NextGen Solutions, and we'll do the best we can.